What is going on, everybody? This is Mike from The Last Corvette. This here is a Easy Go Textron 36 volt golf cart. Um, and today we're going to drop the rear axle cover or a pan. Uh, there is no drain plug on it, so we're going to break the bolts loose and um, basically drain the oil. It's usually under a quart. Uh, I'm using straight 30. Uh, you can go heavier uh, if you plan on you know running it in different weather type environments or conditions. I'm just going to put straight 30 in it. So far what I've done is I did break all of the bolts loose on the pan just to make sure not, nothing was stripped and nothing was seized and so far so good. Um, I also removed a little access cover uh, that lives right here, uh, basically exposes the motor. I'm going to show you guys when I reinstall it. There's just literally four screws. Here's the cover here. I literally just slid it back <clears throat> and that exposes your uh, vent port and also the fill port on the electric motor. First thing that I noticed that I kind of knew about this. So this here was the original hose and this is a vent hose. So this fitting here goes into the axle and this is your uh, basically one way uh, valve or your vent and every axle will have a vent. And it is, there's a little bracket that holds it in place so it doesn't flop around. I knew this was busted and actually the vent itself in this fitting here, when the holes broke, there was a bunch of dirt and stuff in there, which is not good. So I found a piece of hose, got it on. I'm not going to use any clamps because I literally use heat to get it over the barbs. And um, that's pretty much it so far. So got that fixed. Now I'm going to climb under the golf cart, start breaking the bolts loose, and I'm gonna show you guys how many bolts and how it looks. All right, so I'm under the golf cart. I already got my pan set up under the cover. I am using a 13 mil socket to remove all of these bolts. And I guarantee you when I remove it, I'm gonna to have to get a flat blade or a screwdriver to actually uh, pry this off from the axle because um, it does have uh, a lot of silicone on it. All right, let's start. All right, so in total, there are 10 bolts that hold the cover on to the axle. So at this point here, I got everything out. Now I'm gonna get me a flat blade and work this cover off the axle and uh, the key is I did put a mark, uh, which, you know, you don't have to, but I always like to mark at least the starting point or the proper position. And uh, just when you're working your way around uh, the cover, just because they're, these are not very, we'll say rigid, don't try to, you know, mangle it or bend it or even crack it. It should come off pretty easy, we'll see. I don't know how long it's been since it's been serviced, uh, this golf cart used to belong to, uh, I want to say a marina or a park uh, in Indiana at some point. So maybe they serviced it, maybe they're not. We're going to see. We're going to see what's in there. All right, everybody. So I got a little bit of separation uh, right here in the, we'll say, the front of uh, the cover. I uh, used a small, where is it? Yep, there you go. Small flathead screwdriver and a little hammer. And basically you tap in between the case and the cover. Uh, you always want to do it where you have a lot of webbing or thickness. So don't do it right over uh, the bolt hole because you could crack and separate and damage the cover. And then your uh, SOL, you're always going to have a bunch of caulk and, and oil drip, uh, drips or whatever. So, all right, so now I'm going to just get a bigger screwdriver and start to separate this enough to where I can grab it with my hands and actually pull it off. All right, so at this point, I went ahead and just started working my way around uh, the cover um, using different tools, pick tools, uh, flathead screwdriver, and eventually it's going to give, as you can see, there's a little bit of distortion. And what we're going to do is once we clean the silicone and everything up, um, I will use a hammer and flatten everything out. And I might even throw a fresh coat of paint on it. Um, we'll see. All right, so I did get the cover off. Basically, like I told you guys, I uh, started over here. Uh, I picked this corner of the cover because it was closest to me. Um, the golf cart is sitting flat on the garage floor. And I went here, stopped over here. Like I said, there's not enough webbing here to, you know, potentially crack this flange here. And then I, once again, uh, made a connection with a small flathead screwdriver in this area. 
and then started working my way around and it finally just cut loose. Once you get about 35, 40% of it um, off the main housing, it'll just, it'll pop right off. Not a lot of silicone, I can tell you that. Um, so I'm gonna have to just clean this up with a, uh, with a nice sharp blade. But that's how it looks underneath. So I'll just let it drain. So the first thing we're gonna do is um, basically clean this up. And I already wiped this uh, out a little bit. Um, you know, technically nothing too crazy. There's a couple of dents. They've obviously bottomed out this golf cart several times over the course of its uh, existence, but uh, no holes. So I'm just gonna clean this flange up first. I'm gonna hammer out, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I think this is one of the, one of the holes here it needs to be, uh, let's see, so it's sitting like this. Yeah, this one right here, as you can see, see how it's bent out. And then I had to do that to apply a lot of pressure here to actually get some separation. So I'm gonna lay it flat on a piece of wood and just hammer this flange out square. And then I'm going to clean this, the mating side or the mating surface. Uh, I'm gonna clean it, uh, scrape it, get it ready. And uh, from there, I might even paint it. All right, so here's the cover. And what I just did is I squared up or um, made my this edge and this edge square again or flat again to this piece of wood. Um, you can see, you can just use this as a reference point. It doesn't have to be exactly, you know, perfect and, and, and square, but you can just rotate it and see if you have any high points. And like I showed you in the uh, clip previous that I did have this area raised a little bit, not anymore. And you can see it's nice and flat. And um, yeah, let's um, clean this up and I'll definitely uh, get this painted. All right, so I got it all cleaned up, um, obviously to the best of my ability. <laughs> I'm not gonna go overboard, this is a golf cart, but uh, most of your silicone, not most, all of it is gone. Uh, all you see there is just basically imprints or shadows, like that's rust, that doesn't even make, well, it makes contact, but you don't get silicone, you put silicone, I'll show you. Silicone goes right center line of all your holes right here. And for whatever reason, they sealed it on the outer edge, which you can, especially when you torque everything down, it's gonna spread. But um, honestly, I don't know how many times this has been serviced. And on top of it, uh, very little oil came out. And from what I've read, they take about a quart. Some people say under a quart. So when I get ready to obviously refill uh, the axle, I have a quart of uh, straight 30 oil. So we'll basically measure it and see um, how much oil it takes until basically you want to fill it until the whole cavity is full um, and and it wasn't full I can tell you that so anywho I will uh, paint this thing really quick and start working on the actual axle side because I still have to do the same thing there remove the silicone and get it prepped all right so I didn't have any cool colors so black it is uh, this is just a uh, spray spray paint that i had laying out in the garage matte black uh you know all in one type of thing uh, the other choice would, be, would have been white or pink so we'll stay away from pink but there it is i'm going to let it dry and i'm going to start working on um, the axle side and i'll show you guys once everything is cleaned up it's actually very little prep there you just um, get all of the silicone off the outer let's just say the inner edge um, and then uh, we'll inspect it clean the surface and wait for the cover to dry, reapply the silicone and reinstall it. And that's, that's really it. All right, so I wanted to show you guys something. So I got a uh, open blade here. And what I'm doing, as you can see, this is the silicone here that's on a inner edge. And I'm just going around with the blade um, around the, the perimeter of this uh, housing and just basically removing all the excess silicone and then what i'm going to do is i'll do the same thing to uh let me reposition my camera to this surface here as well i'm going to clean that up and surprisingly i didn't get enough or i shouldn't say enough uh, i didn't get much oil out of this whole thing so i know it wasn't leaking <laughs> so that's a good thing i guess i'm doing this uh uh oil change here or whatever technically so it's not really Duralube. So, all right, let me uh, finish this up. 
All right, so now we wait for the paint to dry, but I'm going to show